Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Wednesday afternoon, February the 1st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for race 5 in the card, 2, 19 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 6 for a long sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, 4 year olds and up racing for a claiming prize of some $29,000. Contenders number 5, Perfect Drive, number 1, History Starts Now. Number eight, Max is first, and number seven, Mitigation. Number five, Perfect Drive is the overall speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field, sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Irad Ortiz has been in his irons on two previous occasions, winning them both en route to a positive 555% return on investment in the process. Ortiz is back today for his third ride, gunning for a hat trick win. Number one, history uh, starts now as the only entry in this field, not taking a step up in class, comes off a power run show, finishes last start in a race which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 100. And one. Race five summary number five, perfect drive, tops the contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number one, history starts now, number eight, Max is first, and number seven, mitigation, five, one, eight, seven, and the fifth from the big A. Let's go to South Florida's Gulfstream Park next for race four in their card, 203 p.m. Eastern Post Time, eight and a half for a long route test on the dirt track, four year olds and up racing for an optional claiming purse of some. $56,000. Contenders number one endorsement, number five Prado Arrow, number two Numb Lips, and number three Golden Gulch. Number one endorsement, the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight starts with no finish worse, worse than second. This recent streak of racing consistency also shows back-to-back -back power run wins in his third and fourth races back. Jockey Julian Le Perreau and trainer Alan Hardy sent him to the post. They fit the board with an even 50% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number five, Pratarero has hit the board in power run fashion in three straight, including a power run win in his third race back. Race four summary, number one endorsement, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number five, Pratarero, Number two, Numb Lips, and number three, Golden Gulch, 1523, in the fourth from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park, race three, entry number five, Chelsea's Day, four to one in the morning line. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of the last four, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Charlestown, race eight, the six to one shot, number seven, Kilimangani, qualifies as the Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. The overall speed leader in this allowance field this evening, racing at or about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Comes off a power run show, finishes last start. Missing a circle trip in a race which was contested at tonight's Trackmaster Plus class level of 90 by just the length. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Wednesday. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.